Humans are extremely important for biodiversity, ecosystem services, and society. However, they are rapidly disappearing worldwide. Building new ponds can help to reverse this trend and deliver many ecosystem services, as well as protecting biodiversity. But how can we do it? To start we need to choose a proper location. Ideally, a new pond should be integrated in a landscape near other ponds, creating a pondscape to ensure it can be naturally colonized by wildlife. Water availability and quality is crucial. Look for signs of water accumulation like the presence of aquatic plants, or consider the availability of groundwater, surface water, wells and springs, rooftop water collection or piped water. Always make sure ponds for biodiversity aren't connected to polluted water sources. Create a good balance between sun exposure and shade, avoiding areas under deciduous trees. Excavation Most pond species inhabit waters that are less than 20 to 50 centimeters deep. So, when digging a pond, make sure that the margins are wide and shallow, to allow plant colonization and easy access for animals. You can create different depths of up to 1 to 2 meters to provide diverse habitats for different species. Lining your pond If the pond is created on impermeable clay soil or in a place where water is permanently available, it will maintain water naturally. For all other cases, the pond will need a waterproof lining to prevent water leaking into the soil. Before adding the impermeable layer, remove all sharp stones, compact the soil and add a protective layer, like sand, geotextile or old blankets. The waterproof lining should be covered by soil and stones in the margins, and a small layer of inert substrate in its interior, like sand or subsoil. Wildlife colonization as soon as the pond is created, wildlife will start to arrive. Usually, there is no need to add plants or animals, or to speed up colonization artificially. In fragmented habitats, like urban areas, you can help colonization by adding some native aquatic plants from nearby wetlands. Make sure no non-native species are added and ask for permission from the appropriate authorities when needed. Aquatic plants are very important to provide food and habitat for pond animals and help clean the water. Shelter can be created by placing rocks and tree trunks in the margins and near the pond. Management Excess vegetation growth, organic matter and sediments may need to be carefully removed periodically. Vegetation control can also be supported by low-intensity grazing from livestock. When detected, invasive species should be immediately removed. Ponds should not be totally drained for cleaning, especially during reproductive seasons, as it will reset the biological system. Ponds are a nature-based solution easy and cheap to build and maintain. So, it is vital to prioritize the creation of new ponds and pondscapes to maximize the delivery of important ecosystem services, climate change mitigation, and the protection of biodiversity.